completely starting here i'm gonna wait for a second but hey guys what's up lord meet you again here your lord of video games and welcome to another episode of trails into reverie i'm not gonna go back in for a second we're gonna watch this here we're gonna be continuing right where we left off but sorry for the long hiatus. Uh, the hurricane really did some damage to where we live. Not our house. Our house is perfectly fine. But the roads were almost impassable. So uh, good thing we went down to Miami. Stayed there for a while. But when we returned, we could not get back home. So we stayed over there longer, longer because of that. So, yeah, but in the last episode, we did see everybody get to Crossbell and challenge the fake Rufus. And we are going to be continuing right where we left off a little bit uh, to finish off the point. Uh, we did arrive recently, got power back recently, and we were setting back the office and everything just dealing with work and everything trying to get back on track so uh we're back on track this is gonna be going up live saturday which is today which i am recording it uh so yeah trying to get back on track and it's gonna be a late upload because i have been busy finishing off everything and i'm like you know what upload today let's go so hope you enjoy glad to be back in the recording chair and getting back to business like always Commotion in the city is starting to calm down to a degree. Garcia also helped us recover all of the remaining Zobber soldats and transport them into the Geofront. Remaining members of the Ebon Defense Force all willingly. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jesus. You guys can tell I haven't done this in a while. The remaining members of the Ebon Defense Force all willingly surrendered themselves too. As for Ilya Patir, she's been taken to the hospital. She is exhausted but in no danger. Thank Adios for that. She's in good hands with Dr. Saland. So we're gonna the doctor. Sounds like Muriel's surgery was a success. Shame I can't see her yet, but I guess. But at least I know she's all right. You will soon. For now, we need to decide on our next move. Who needs something like that would show up on Lake Elm? The Retributive Tower. Jeez, that's kind of insane. You've already seen it's capable enough to annihilate something the size of Juno Naval Fortress in an instant. From what I can see, its powers itself through its the spirit banes. The this energy is amplified and reflected by the combat shield satellites in the sky, which then direct them towards the desired target. The technology to fire beam was destroyed. With such precise accuracy, just doesn't exist in the Empire. But Elysium can realize it. I thought so. Hmm. The Forcer's troops were stationed elsewhere at the time of the attack, so, by the grace of the Goddess, no lives were lost. More shame that my old castle could fall so easily. I don't think any fortress could have withstood a blast like that. The aim was to show us the, mo <clears throat> the aim was to show its monstrous capabilities, and it served its purpose well. We really need to look at our neighbors' reactions to see that, particularly Calvert's. Indeed. You talked to their new president just earlier, didn't you, sir? I did. Yes. So 
So how did that go? I'm sad that this seed is not voiced. Like, come on. Missed opportunity right there. It feels like just yesterday that we were gathered to affirm Crossbell's independence. The speed with which you liberated your city was nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, I guess. The many hardships that Crossbellans have endured have molded them into a most hardy people indeed. We are hardly worthy of such praise. I truly regret that we've been unable to bring this crisis to a conclusion faster, Mr. President. Oh, President Roy Graham Gramhart. But it is good to have this line of communication open to us again. Oh, so this is the new president. Okay. Now, I believe it would be wise to discuss how to address that new weapon of mass destruction. That As it happens, we have already begun preparing our response. Uh, what? We have readied enough troops to dwarf even our great numbers from the war. I... I see. Surely you are aware of the extremely delicate position Crossbell finds itself in at present. If Erebonia, or even Calvert, were to try and intervene with force, well... I am indeed aware. So what's the plan? But how else <clears throat> is the head of state to respond when his territory is threatened? Uh. The tower shall next rain judgment on the Calvert Republic's Baratier Air Base. Oh. Its divine lightning will spare not one thing as it turns its frame to dust. You have until five o'clock this evening to reconsider your stance. Well, that's not you good. Hope you make the right decision. <clears throat> Our military's general headquarters will be the next target if we do not act. We have no choice. I'm quite surprised as how much Erebonia is dragging its heels in light of the losses it has recently suffered. What are you suggesting? I deeply regret the position your country has been placed in after a problem that erupted within our borders. But could you not give us a little more time to resolve this on our own? I assure you that we are not sitting idly by while your nation is threatened. Mm -hmm. And I believe you. I have it on good authority that many capable hands have gathered in Crossbell. But I would like to make our stance crystal clear. Refusing our gracious offer of support means you have also forfeited support from the Imperial Army. And given what is at stake, when the deadline draws dangerously close, we will take action as we see fit. Okay, we need to resolve this quick. President Gramhart, sir. Yes, I fully understand that. Then all is well. The Republican army stands ready to aid you, should you require it. I hope you will make the correct choice, and sooner rather than later. Mr. Speaker. I am starting to hate you now. Oh, I see his point, but Jesus. That's not good for us at all. In the slightest. The rumors about him weren't an exaggeration in the least. If anything, they didn't exaggerate enough. <clears throat> I've heard his actions since the war have made him very popular in the Republic. Until now, we feel that Calvert could use the Supreme Leader as an excuse to invade, but the tower changed everything. They're gonna use that as the reason. They know as little about it as we do. Oh, yeah, yeah wait, 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 yeah. So of course they would be hesitant about approaching it. It's the right move. Playing this card has no downsides for them. I don't doubt that as soon as they have a grasp of the situation, they'll use it as an excuse to intervene and claim Crossbell as their own. I fear my only option may be to request both the Republic and the Empire's aid after all. No. Oh, Grandfather. The lives of the entire continent are on the line. We don't have much choice. But doing so could cement Crossbell's status as a country unable to handle crises within its own borders. I'd kill its chance of reign dependence for good. It'll kill its chance of reign dependence for good. 
it's almost an impossible choice to make. Knowing where the next target will be works to the Republic's advantage as well. As does knowing that, well, it is an important military base, it can be rebuilt with ease unlike you know. The deadline is also generous enough to give time to evacuate civilians in the vicinity of the blast. I'm sure preparations are already underway. All that to say that even if the worst should happen, Calvary will walk away with minimal damage at most. Lucky sons of bitches. And he were thinking things would get easier after that sly old fox they had before 23 was out of the picture. The delay could still work in our favor. Might mean we've bought enough time to take care of the tower itself. I'll take half a day or more over nothing at all. I wouldn't burst out of the champagne over that just yet. Agreed. The reports are that there are far fewer Zobber sold that station in the city now compared to when it was first occupied. And there's only one other place they'd be. So the bulk of them are defending the tower then. Maybe they figured the city would be liberated again from the start? Surely not, actually. After all that's happened so far, anything is possible. I lean toward it, personally. Our foe's real goal was unveiling this giant weapon all along. But at this point, just who is our foe? It doesn't sound as though Elysium has a will of its own. That's right, it needs an administrator. The answer is whoever ousted, ousted me from that position and took it for themselves. Who though? That all this has continued on a potato. Anabit. Unabated. Anabated. Even after the Supreme Leader's demise. Suggests it wasn't him. He could have been. He, he would have been the most obvious answer. Options otherwise are very few. Might be that guy. Reen's doppelganger, right? To be honest. I'm not sure there's something Calvary and Erebonia's armies can solve. I don't think so either. The tower is capable of more destruction than even the past war, if left unchecked. Hmm. Come on, Reen. Won't let that happen. Oh. Maybe whoever this is really thinks they're on some noble pursuit to bring eternal peace. I did not expect her to talk. But if you have to hold the entire continent hostage to maintain it, then how the hell is that true peace? Mm -hmm. How is that going to unite us? It's not going to unite anyone. We've worked too hard for this. I won't let this vice grip they think they have stop us from crossing the finish line. Well said. That's our Yuna. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. We stood up when knocked down a hundred times. This is just a hundred and one. Yep. Because no matter how high the barrier, it'll never be enough to stop us. Let's go, Lloyd. Right. And all of us from Thor's will be right there to help you get over it. No, it's not just for you. I want things to go back to normal for myself just as much. I want to see a brighter tomorrow. And I want to see it together with the people I care about. Reen. Yeah, we're right there with you. Glad to have you all with me. Liberal's here to support you all we can too. Crossbell and Erebonia are neighbors, yes. But it's more that we've overcome enough as a team that we would never back out now. Yeah, teamwork's made the dream work enough times before. So why wouldn't we help? We, of course, are also here for you. Hey. Damn, do you guys love these cute speeches. I'd bust one out too if I had one to give. Yet for all we have on our side, there are still limits to what we can do. The real key to our success is her. Lapis. True. As long as Elysium plays such a large role, its former administrator is going to make or break this. She's the best, perhaps the only hope we have of seeing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Your name is Lapis, right? I hate to put this kind of pressure on you. 
but we're absolutely going to need you in this upcoming operation. Will you help us? No. Ah. Uh. Huh? I said I'm not helping you. You did not just say no. She did. She did say just. She. I am as equally as speech. But I feel like she's going to be like, I am going to help Rufus with this, not you guys. Read the room, Lapis. That's how our girl is. She doesn't let anyone push her into doing what she doesn't want to. It's not like we're bossing her around over something trivial. She can't go, screw you guys, I'm out of here when the stakes are this damn high. <laughs> damn, that was good, Ash. That was good, Ash. Good job. Are you saying no because you only want to help your friends? No. I'd say the same thing to them. Oh. I'm not helping anyone. Because I'm the one who needs help. Oh, Lapis. Elysium is at the center of everything that's plaguing the continent. That means, as its former administrator, I have a duty to set things right. I wish to make this very clear. This isn't your problem that I'm saving. This is my problem that you're saving. <sighs> so please, I need you to help me. We will. Way to turn it around, LP. <laughs> <laughs> she is technically correct. Does that technically matter? To her, it does. Yes, it's a very important distinction. She's more of a character than you led me to believe, Ian. Believe me. I'm just as surprised at how much she's grown. Friends have no doubt played a vital part in that. It's so wholesome, I love it. Can't argue with that logic. Distinction works in our favor, too. We're here as friends, but as Erebonians, we can't officially intervene in Crossbell's affairs at the moment. I'm sure that was at the back of some of our minds when we agreed to step in. It was. We're past this the point where we can claim this only involves Crossbell. All of our lives are risk here. We want to help, but even if we if we want to, this affects is did as oh. You guys can tell I haven't read lines in a while. We want to help, but even if we didn't want to, this affects us as much as it does Crossbell. Crossbell, Erebonia, Liberal, it's everyone's problem all across the map. That's a lot of people when you think about it. Yeah, but all across the map's right. And we'll need to, we'll need everyone we can get to help Lapis and overcome this. Stell and Joshua never turned away in a helping hand when they needed it. Thor's never turned them away either. Nor did the SSS. He won't turn them away now. Exactly. What just happened? Are you guys ignoring me? Nope. He just helped everyone feel like a team. That's all. Good girl. I'm so proud of you. I don't get why. Don't you dare clip that, guys. <laughs> I... I I feel I have some commenters that are a little bit, uh, <laughs> that would clip that out of context. Let's turn the discussion to what our present objectives should be. Lapis, how exactly should we go about stopping the tower? Well, Elysian came to be through the orbital network and spirit veins. It existed in an entirely intangible state. So retaking control over it would normally be impossible. Right now, though, it exists in physical form through the tower's central terminal. That much is very clear to me now that the signal jamming is gone. In other words, right now we have a chance. Does this form make it possible for you to reinstate yourself as an administrator? As long as we can reach the tower center and I can wire myself directly to it, yes. If we do that, both the tower and the divine lightning should cease to function. Then we have our mission. 
Well, that's a lot easier said than done. The Zabar soldats are going to be difficult enough to pass. And then the tower itself is built like a fortress. It's also worth noting that it's being protected by some sort of barrier while it draws in new energy. Barrier's mana is so dense that it, that I doubt even railway guns could break it. it. It's that durable? I feared it would be something like that. Before we can even think of teleporting inside, we need to take care of the barrier. B but we don't even have anything stronger than the railway guns in Crossbill. So, if... Even they aren't up to the task. Let's not forget that the tower sits over a lake. I have one Merkaba hidden and ready for use, but this is going to be as easy as to get as to the Azure tree was. Over enemy being armed to the teeth. A Merkaba is going repairs in Erebonia with the Courageous 2. That one's out. Could have taken care of it if we had our Divine Knights. Rain technically has a pilot of one. Well, not divine, but unfortunately, we're going to be facing one instead on top of everything else. Yeah, there's got to be something we can do, though. And that something lies with me. Oh. Whoa, we got we got so many people here. Oh, snap. So we got Rosalie, Vita, Olivier. Grace, we got George, Angelica, Thomas, Jesus, everybody joined. Angie, George, w wait, Vita? Good to see you as always, Emma. Of course, she decides to swoop in right as we are discussing how to overcome a new overpowering weapon. Leave it to Vita. You don't always have to make a show of coming in to save the day, Vita. Oh, because you've never done it a thousand times yourself, Grandmother. I'm just gonna afford to stay away knowing the society. The professor mainly is involved. And the rest of the stores is getting into on protecting the beautiful ladies of Zemuria from this new threat, then how can I skip out? If I get into the action, I might get into that action. You know what I mean? Only we didn't. You look well, Crow. Same to you guys. I thought you were still in Arteria, Father Thomas. This mean our ever reluctant superiors realize they can't leave this to chance. You would be correct. I mean, they can't ignore a broadcast so damning. I see the SSS has been very busy. I feel I can give congrats once I'm back in Crossbell. Where are you? Hold on to that congrats. Work's not done yet. Been conducting an independent investigation in the Empire from what I've heard. That's what I heard as well, I think. Was, it, was she in the Empire? I don't remember. At the request of none other than the prince himself here. Oh. We may be unable to mobilize the Imperial Army, but there's always... There is a way to catch the enemy unawares, even if it involves an element of luck. If it works, however, you'll be able to get inside the tower. But really? What's the way then? Please, my dear, and spoil the surprise. That, and I rather don't think we can afford to be too cautious with Elysium. That's smart of you. We can't rule out them being able to listen in on us somehow. A horrific possibility. Well, shall we get to work on our operation? If you're willing to support me in that endeavor, of course, Commander Bales and Toa. I never turned that down. You have until it hits 1700 hours to pull this off. So time is of the essence. Let's begin at once. Prince Oliver, Commander Bales and Toa begin ironing out the details on how to enter the tower. The assault team, comprised of the SSS, Class 7, and Rufus' party, let them be to prepare for this grand battle. They agreed that the best use of their time would be to rest and recharge while touring the newly liberated crossbill. Hey, Time for some exploration.
Why is it loading so slow? <laughs> it's gonna be our last chance to prepare, but got less than half a day left. There's only going to be so much that we can do. The bulk of the responsibility right now is with the commander the others who are formulating a plan either way. Yeah, but we're still responsible for preparing the fighting we're going to be doing once we're in the tower. Indeed. I'd like to tour the region and see how everyone is doing while we can, too. Mike's that Alyssa got her hands on from the Rhineford Company should help us there. I'll explain the basics of writing them later on. Thanks. Can we customize it? How long you been carrying those glasses around, by the way? <laughs> I thought my mask would draw too much attention when walking around the city. This guy plans for everything! Shall we meet again here just before the operation is scheduled to begin yet, yeah, then? Do all that you want to now so that you may face what comes next without regrets. Huh? Makes sense, I guess. Shouldn't be getting too friendly with them. Wait, the Rufus. Can I help you, detective? You certainly look like you have something to say. Oh, I do. Thinking about it, it's our first time speaking since the pantry grew before the war. Now that you mention it... Think oh. of it as my personal apology to you for Operation Birdcage. Oh... We will be recalling our troops from Michelin as well. Why don't you enjoy yourselves there one last time? I'd like to thank you for the consideration. Though not half as much as I'd like to deck you in the face. I guess he still owes it. Oh, if you're hoping to try and make good on what you said then, I would not be opposed to humoring you. But I would have thought that there were better ways to use what precious little time we have left to us. I happen to agree. So I think it would be fruitful for you to travel around Crossbow with us. It's not possible to change the past. But during the upcoming operation, we'll be fighting on the same team. When we spend preparing together, the easier I think we'll find it to back one another up. One another up if anything, if things get dicey. I cannot read. What do you say? Hmm. Lloyd? <laughs> we share Lloyd's view on the matter. Can't deny there's bad blood between us, but the stakes are too damn high here to be petty. Or for me to second guess our leader. <laughs> That's our Lloyd for you. Always looking at the bigger picture. You gotta hand it to the guy. I'd like to come along, too. The rest of my classmates have their own preparations to make, so they won't be joining us, but... We'll have to learn as much as we can in their place. We've been going around separately until now, so we all need to see how everyone else fights. But even putting all that aside, there's something I want to see. I want you to see. I want you to see the strength of Crossbell's people. I want you to witness how even in times of hopeless as these, we never give up. <laughs> You've got some should spa. Very well. I see no reason to refuse. Ah. Yay! We get to hang out with RX again. Who's RX? Rishia, maybe? I didn't know you knew them. <laughs> it's a funny story. I met not that long ago. You're part of a secret assassin's club. What? Like we need any more crazy kids. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Um, yes. I'm all ears if there's something you want to say. Lapis? Your name is Lloyd Bannings, right? Hmm. I think it was you after all. Huh? 
Wait, what? Who was what? Did he do something? I performed one last prediction of the future, just before control of Elysium was stolen from me. And that briefly showed me someone who I think was you. Huh? Wait. Is something going to happen to him? Please, don't worry. I didn't see a vision of him dying or anything. What I saw was very fragmented. So I can't be sure exactly what it meant. But I feel as though it was telling me that you are the only one capable of unraveling the truth behind all of this. Oh, me? Yes. You are the only one who fulfills all of the conditions. But all I saw was this possible future's conclusion. I didn't see what steps would lead up to making it happen. Hmm. Huh. Sure wish we had a few more details to go on. But that's a hard story to ignore given Elysium's ability to predict the future. I agree. Okay. I'll keep what you said in mind. Thanks for telling me, Lapis. I'm sure we'll need all the help you can give once this whole thing kicks off, too. Oh, trust me. We're gonna need that help. I thought I told you that this is my problem that you're saving? You're helping me. <laughs> so you did. Shows that off then. <clears throat> Once our preparations are complete, we need to assemble on the tower's rooftop. Yeah. So make sure we get. We do. And make sure that we do. We're heading out with no regrets. Right. Oh boy. Oh? Is it the mirror? Yes, it is. What's going on? The fourth stratum? Ooh. New floor to explore. I hope you guys know we're going in there and training. Something must have happened. We should go and look when we get the chance. Ah. Uh, by the final preparation period. At this time, you can explore the entirety of Crossbow with certain party members. Those not in your party will remain in town, so you're welcome to seek them out for a chat. Oh, okay. Unlike when traveling in town with a limited party, all party members can be used when on highways or in dungeons. Open the party menu upon venturing to the highway or entering a dungeon and choose your active party members. Oh. Rufus Covert Shades. Oh my god. Wow. Armor enhancements three fulfilled. Ooh. I am loving this. We got the whole SSS here. But how do I? How did I? I'm trying to. It's my turn. We're in to go. Here I go. Let's go. No, wasn't this? It's high speed. Leave it to me. Okay. Here I go. Uh. Let's see what we got. It's not that. Um. How do I? How do I? Head into the. It's not that. It's still that. How do I go into the rubbery corridor? Right. It's my turn. We're in to go. Oh, we got a lot of new things. Oh my god, that's a lot of things to explore. Uh how do I Alright, let's use these two. To get those recipes. Um, it's been quite a while. Here I go. It's my turn. It's my turn. It's my go. 
team but I just can't go into the reverie corridor uh let me look again oh, how to man. enter the reverie corridor I cuz I completely Forgot it's been a while. You might all be like yelling at me. It might be like easy for you guys. Okay, what I swear I pressed every button. I was like pressing every button in the on the thing, and I'm like, alright, let's look it up. Right. <sighs> gotta be kidding me. I am so angry. I am so angry. I swear I press right. Like what? I, I feel like I was going crazy. Because I feel I pressed every button. That is insane. That is no. That is insane. I am being gaslit by my own self. What is this madness? Oh my god. I am. I am very upsetty spaghetti right now. Warning to all visitors. Oh? Ah. Elysium has attempted to interfere with this space 4,096 times. Damn! What did it just say? What's it talking about? These increased failed attempts prove that the interference with the laws of causality outside this space is at a critical point. Conclusion. Limited permissions to retain memories outside of this world must be granted to combat further attempts. Did I understand that correctly? There's a lot to process all at once. Accessing Reverie Corridor Management System. Adjusting Awareness Suppression Processes. Oh. Hold on. Something just happened. Wait a second. I know this feeling. My memories are back. Mine too. So that's what we've been training to prepare ourselves to combat. This must be the garden's way of telling us just how much stronger we'll have to become to triumph. Seriously though, I have to just go and flip the switch on our memories while we ha were awake. It's still spinning. The action was deemed necessary to raise chances of controlling the crisis unfolding in the outside world. Ooh. Elysium cannot be allowed to alter the laws of causality. Visitors will still be unable to retain the memories of the Reverie Corridor upon exiting. That's a little disappointing. It must be one, the one rule it won't compromise on. Permissions now granted to enter the Reverie Corridor's fourth stratum. Okay. May you seize the hope to overcome the impossible over the course of your trials. As if we have much of a choice in the matter, as we finally get the big picture, explains the help we've been given since we got here. Just for this. Yes. At the pivotal moment we've been trading for is much closer than we thought. The threats we're up against are Elysium and the Retributive Tower. Getting those memories back also means we already know what we need to do. We're gonna stop them. For Crossbill and for the entire world. Right. Damn straight we are. So long as we have the time to train, I know we can turn this around. Indeed. There, this is our ace in the hole, and we'd be fools not to use it. Back you guys up all the way. It goes for all of us. We're going to see what this new stratum's got for us. Now's the time to go home. Our skills once more. I'm Vicon Art Say just chiming in. 
This is our last chance to steal ourselves to the final battle. Make it count, everyone. Right! Oh, I am hyped. I am hyped! It's motivated in doing whatever they can to prepare for the final battle. Can't let myself be the odd one out. It's time I get ready to. I feel I'm gonna have so many vantage masters and other stuff. The Reverie Garden state has changed. We'll now begin exploring the Reverie Garden as Lloyd. Additional characters can now be recruited via gold ceiling stones. We don't have a lot of gold ceiling stones, so yeah. Stone Joshua can now assist you in the Reverie Quarter. Zate will now assist you in the Reverie Quarter. Sweet. But we have a lot of Vantage Masters to take care of. And we have a lot to check. Let me see if there's Connecting anything. To Reverie Garden database. Okay. This is it new? All right. Let Confirming me report the RP. Accumulated. Liberation rank changed. Transferring rank reward. Ryuko. View missions. Ah. I completed some master missions. Oh. Fill 100% of the books in the tab. Oh, I'm so close. So close. Dang. Uh. Confirming rank points accumulated. Anything. Connecting to Reverie Garden. All right, but I'm going to leave this here. And in the next episode, we're going to be heading into the fourth stratum. So, hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. And glad to be back in the saddle again recording for you guys. If you guys have been enjoying these videos, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.